Hello everyone from a beautiful mild fall day up here in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania at the National Civil War Museum. I'm Wayne Motz, the Chief Executive Officer here at the museum, and this is our Thursday snapshot for November 12, 2020. This is the day after Veterans Day, so when thinking about this snapshot, I really wanted to do a snapshot related to service during the American Civil War and service of a person. Recently, I was up in New York on a research trip, and I stopped at Oakwood Cemetery in Troy, New York. This is a beautiful cemetery, one of the finest I've ever seen in the entire country. It's 282 acres, approximately. It has 60,000 burials. If you're a Civil War student there, George Thomas, the Rock of Chickamauga, is buried there. Uh, George Willard, who was killed in the Battle of Gettysburg, is buried there. But the largest memorial in this cemetery is to the oldest general that served on either side during the Civil War, and that is John Ellis Wool, a 58-foot granite shaft marking his grave at Oakwood Cemetery. He had over 50 years service. So the Thursday snapshot today is about John Ellis Wool buried at Oakwood Cemetery in Troy, New York. Wool was born in Newburgh, New York in 1784. That's only three years after Cornwallis surrenders at Yorktown to end the Revolutionary War. Also, George McClellan is born in 1826, the commander of the Army of Potomac, and John Ellis Wool had been a commissioned officer in the Army for 14 years the day George McClellan was born, to give you some idea about his age. Now, Wool grew up in Troy, New York, because he was an orphan. He was living with his grandfather. He went into business there. His business was destroyed by a fire. He read law, and when the War of 1812 broke out, he was commissioned an officer in the 13th United States Infantry Regiment. He was wounded during the War of 1812. He had continuous service all the way up to the Civil War, serving in the Mexican War, serving as commander of the Department of Pacific, serving as commander of the Department of the East, and when the Civil War breaks out on April 12, 1861, John Ellis Wool is 77 years old. He later commands during the New York City draft riots, and he retires from military service on August 1st, 1863. He dies in Troy, New York in 1869 when he is 85 years of age. And this huge granite obelisk, 254 tons of granite, marking his grave, was erected 10 years after his death. What a tremendous record of service for a veteran to our country. I hope you enjoyed this Thursday snapshot. We want to thank the Northwest Battalion of the Peach Orchard Brigade, supporters of the Civil War Museum, for sponsoring this video. And we hope, if you're not already a subscriber here to our YouTube channel, you subscribe. Thanks.